Hi, welcome to the App Code on YouTube. Today we're going to take a look at passing data between two views using the protocol delegate method. I have an app that we're going to be starting with here and you can get the code for it at www.theappcodeblog.com slash code slash delegate protocol tutorial dot zip and that'll get you a little app here that I have and I'm going to go ahead and run it to show you what we have here. It's basically two very simple views with a UI text field in each one and we're going to pass the value from that text field one view to the other. So this will have a value and we're going to set it here in our favorite color label and then we're also going to set it here in the favorite color label of our second view and then we'll add a color here on our second view it'll set this label and when we go back it'll pass the value back to our first view controller and set the color into this label here. So the first part which is passing the data forward is pretty straightforward uh, something that we've done quite a bit of already but let's go ahead and take care of that. I'm gonna declare a instance variable of an NS string. I'm gonna name it favorite color and then we'll go ahead and set some properties for it like so and then of course we will need to synthesize that in our implementation file like that okay now we have that instance variable favorite color and we want to set that into the favorite color label there so we're going to do that in a method that we're going to implement named view will appear so here we're just going to do self favorite color label equals favorite color What did we name that? Favorite color. It should have been favorite color string. That's what I should have named it. But we'll stick with that for now. Just like that. What's it complaining about here? It wants me to set the text in the label. Okay. So that is going to set the variable that we passed from the first view to the second view into our first label. Now, when we enter text into the text field of the second view, we want to set that into the other label. So we're going to do that in a method that is entitled um, text field did in editing. And I have a little method here that I'm just going to copy. We'll put it right here like that. And this is going to be favorite color label text equals I'm sorry, this is going to be the second favorite color label. You have to bear with me here. I'm battling a little bit of an allergy and it's kind of driving me crazy at the moment. So this will be the second color text field dot text, just like that. Okay, so that's going to set our two labels in the second view. Let's go ahead and run that and see where we're at at the moment. Hopefully everything's going to be working so far. So if we enter the color blue here, it did not set it. Let's see what was wrong there. We have our favorite color string, favorite color there, and the view will appear. We're setting favorite color label dot text equals the favorite color. Maybe this should be view did appear. Let's try that one. Hopefully this one works. Let's do blue. Next. No, we're not pass oh, silly me, I know exactly what the problem is. We're not actually passing that value. We need to go to our view, go to view two method, where we have a reference already to second view controller. And here we need to set the favorite color equal to our favorite color text field text. Now if we build and run, it's going to work. 
Okay, blue. Pass it, and there we go, blue. Now when we type purple here, it populated our second label. So our second view is all set. All we have to do is pass this purple color back to our first view. But before we do that, let's go ahead and set um, the first view's favorite color label that we'll get from the text field. And so that will also be from this text field did in editing method. Go ahead and copy that again, put it in here. And this time it's going to be favorite color label dot text equals favorite color label text field. We don't need all the other stuff. Let's try that real quick. type in blue and it populated it right there. Okay, now let's move on to passing the data back from our second view to our first view, which is what this tutorial is really all about. The first thing we're going to do is declare a string here, an ns string that will hold that variable that we're passing back. So that will be second color string set some properties for that like so and then we'll go ahead and synthesize that in our implementation file like so okay now in order to pass this data back from our second view to our first view, we need to declare a protocol here in our second view controller header file. And I'm going to copy a little bit of code here again. I'm kind of cheating in this tutorial to try and save us some time so it doesn't get too long. So here we're defining a protocol in our second view controller. We're naming that protocol pass second color and we're requiring one method named sec second favorite color and it's passing one parameter. So what this is saying is whichever class in here, which in our case is going to be first view controller, implements this protocol, this pass second color, it's going to have to also define this method, this set second favorite color. It's going to have to implement that method. So that's how we do that. Okay, then after we clear that protocol, we need to set or create an instance variable of our delegate. And since the type of object will not be known at compile time, we're just going to declare it as an ID type. Delegate, just like that. And then we'll set a property for it. We'll just retain this one. Okay, like so. Now, in our implementation class, of course, we need to synthesize this. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Let's add it to this line. And we also need to pass or we need to call our method in the first view, first view controller. Uh, that's going to be defined in there, this uh, set second favorite color. So let's do that in a method that will happen when this view disappears. So that is going to be the view will this disappear method. And here we're going to do self. So it's going to call the delegate of this class. And it's going to call this method in the delegate. And it's going to pass this value. Just like that. Now what's happening here is we're setting the delegate for our protocol here to first view controller. So right here it's calling first view controller. 
and then it's going to call this method in the first view controller and it's going to pass that variable just like that okay that's it for our second view controller let's go work on our first view controller now we've already declared our string here and we need to say define it here that it's going to use that protocol that pass second color which was the name of our protocol and we're going to say that this class uses that and remember when we said that um, this class will be implementing that protocol it was required that it would also implement that one method so let's go ahead and take care of that which is this one this set second favorite color method uh, change my names here a little bit so this would be uh, second color string sorry about that equals second favorite color now somewhere we're going to need to set the label for that second favorite color from our second color string and we're going to do that in a method view did appear Go ahead and implement that. View did appear. And there we're just going to say second favorite color label dot text equals second color string. Now, the last thing to do is we need to actually set tell the second view controller that the first view controller will be the delegate for it and we are going to do that here in the go to view 2 method where we already again have a reference to our second view controller and excuse me there square bracket and we're going to say set delegate to self just like that now that should be all there is to it I haven't forgotten anything let's go ahead and run this and see what we have okay so say our favorite color is blue it sets it there passes it to our second view our second view we say our second favorite color is purple sets it in that label and it passes it back to the first view just like that and of course we can go ahead and change these if we want and now our favorite color is red and it passed it and now with red our second favorite color will be orange sets it passes it back to the first view okay that's it I hope you found this helpful and thank you for bearing with me today uh, it was a little more all over the place than I usually like it, but I wanted to get that, this out there as soon as possible. And there you have it. As always, please come visit me on theappcodeblog.com where you find a lot of tutorials. And until next time, have a great day.